Okay, let's talk about component placement. Sometimes it's, it seems to be easy, okay, to place the components on the PCB, to place the capacitors, to place the IC, okay, the headers, okay, but uh, it is not really that simple and it sometimes becomes really complicated and hard to just place the components, okay. Proper component placement can bring manufacturability, serviceability and durability for your system. Uh, the circuit which is properly placed uh, can, can be easy to, you know, manufacture, can be easy to troubleshoot and has, you know, higher lifetime, okay? So, I'm going to share some tips with you today. These are not all of the tips. Of course, I don't know all of the tips, okay, all of the information, but these are my own experience. If you have similar experience, you can share it with us, uh, with the social media we have, okay? But these are five tips. I want to share it with you with, uh, within this, uh, you know, part of the uh, mini course. So uh, tip number one, group components together based on the function. Um, you know, let's say that you have a, a PCB that it is consisted of, um, for example, analog sections. You have analog devices. You have digital devices, digital processor, for example. And you have power, for example, and the dedicated power for the PCB, okay? So, uh, one of the most important tips that you can have is about don't mix them together. You know why? Because they have noise and interference to each other. For example, let's say you are mixing analog and digital sections. Digital digitals, you know that they are um, one and zero. Okay, zero and one, they are changing between the one and zero. They have sharp rise and fall. Okay, from zero to one and from one to zero. This sudden change can have noise inside the traces, can have noise to the, for example, let's say sensitive analog devices, sensitive analog traces, okay, signals, okay. So if you mix them together, they're going to have uh, interference, they're going to have, uh, you know, noise on the analog section. So keep them a little bit away from each other. You may want to consider one of the corners, for example, for the analog, the other corner for the digital, the other area for the power section. And the power section is really important. You know why? Because they are uh, exposed to the higher currents inside the PCB and they can have, uh, you know, they can impose higher uh, uh, interference to the surrounding area, okay? So, so keep them a little bit away from each other. This is the number one uh, tip that I, I can have. Two, keep components away from heat generating parts like power switches. Um, as a designer, before you are going to design it or assemble it, you must know about the heat generating elements. For example, if you are working uh, with uh, power, uh, power electronics, as I'm doing, for example, you may want to consider uh, the power switches like IGBTs or MOSFET, power MOSFETs as a heat generating elements. You have to pay attention to these elements, okay? Or linear regulator, okay? If you are a linear regulator, you know that they are just generating power and they are responsible, they are responsible for um, the increase in the, uh, in the circuit. Number three, place heat generating components in upper area of the circuit. If you, have, if you are working actually with the vertical circuits, you may want to consider the heat generating these hot elements on the upper area. You know why? Because the heat goes up and you don't want to just uh, the heat which is produced to uh, meet all of the components, okay? You want the, uh, actually the, this heat to go outside of your circuit. So you are working with the vertical circuits, keep them uh, and in the upper area of the circuit. So number four is uh, for design for EMC. And this is, uh, by the way, I believe one of the important topics and really challenging and believe me, that is really sometimes hard to designed for electromagnetic compatibility. EMC is short for electromagnetic compatibility, okay? The circuit is compatible for the electromagnetic interference. Uh, in the following uh, section, we are going to just talk about it, but um, you have to just pay attention to the standards that are required by the uh, governments and regulators. Number five, same components, same orientation. If you are using, for example, let's say same IC or same capacitor, you want to consider the same orientation for your components because it makes the manufacturing easy and cheap, okay? The machines that are automatic machines that are, uh, you know, assembling your circuit, they will be, it will be easier for them to uh, assemble your circuit. So these are the most important, but 
Uh, these are just my experience, what came to my mind to share it with you. Of course, this topic is just really broad and we can't cover it in one video. So, if you have similar experience, please share it with us.